This right here, friends, is some hickory that I picked up from Nathan, my good friend uh, from Out of the Woods on YouTube. Um, certainly do appreciate that. He gave that to us to uh, smoke the meat this fall when we actually harvest the pig. Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the cabin. Um, we got a busy day today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some concrete mixed up and start laying some more rock on the outside of the cabin because I need to get that done so that I can finish the drain and um, that's kind of been holding me up from landscaping. So that will be nice to get that done. That way I can actually move all that topsoil and uh, kind of get everything smoothed out and looking better here. That little job that Jennifer and I worked on, uh, the concrete foundation for the new smokehouse, evidently she's had that um, mortar mix, which I didn't realize that until I looked at the bag this morning. I thought it was quickcrete, but it was actually mortar mix. I wondered why there wasn't any more gravel in it than there was, but um, I don't know if she had it too long and it went bad, um, but let me show you. It's basically set up to nothing but sand. The night before it had been a monsoon so it should have absorbed every bit of moisture in the ground and set up hard if it was any good even if it was masonry mix but it didn't so i think what i'm going to do is get four blocks i will pull those anchor bolts back out dig that stuff out get those blocks um, kind of sit in there to where i got a nice smooth surface on the top and reset that with some quick creep but that's something that i'm going to have to get jennifer just happened to have those bags we threw them in the truck. Like I said, I didn't pay any attention to them. I thought it was quick crete. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. So it's not anything that we can't fix. Anyway, I'm going to go back around here, get busy mixing up some mortar, put some dye in it, and we're going to start laying some rock. So hope you sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy. For those of you that might be interested, what I'm doing is I'm putting in this diamond sort of mesh to allow the concrete something to adhere to and I've also put in a drip edge. I just can't do it in front of the door because then the door wouldn't come open. But um, this has got to go on before we actually mix up any concrete so that it will have something to stick to.
I don't mix up too much at one time so that I can let this set up really good um, so that I can put the next layer on and I've even got these little wall ties stuck in everywhere but I still don't want to add too much weight onto fresh concrete so that hopefully it all sets up really good like the front did and it's a nice solid wall didn't have any cracking over the winter time um, it really turned out great so And it keeps me from having to spend a long time out here in the sun working on it as well. As soon as that dries a little bit, I will actually take my broom and broom that off. Well, like my buddy Nathan says up at Out of the Woods, did I mention how hot it was today? It's going to take several weeks to do the cabin, but I figured I better go ahead and get started on it. That way, hopefully, I can get some of the drain in and finish getting that topsoil moved so that I can actually add another raised bed down there for next year. But anyway, glad that you stopped by to hang out with me up here at the cabin. As always, we hope each and every one of you have a fantastic day. You all take care. We we'll look forward to seeing you back up here at the outpost again next time.